with the class. My name is Miss Alvarez, and today we're going to learn about area of problems identified, compare, and no solution. What does this mean? The area of a polygon measures the size of region enclosed by the polygon, and it is measured in unit squares. To make this uh, problems, we need to follow four steps, and the four steps I have it right here. Step one. Make the squares inside the shapes until shapes are filed. Count the, sh count the squares. The result of the count is the answer. Step four, write the answer in inches. Okay, let's start. I have three problems right here and it's really simple. Step one, make the squares inside the shapes until the shapes are a uh, file. Okay, we're ready? Let's start. Okay, I have my squares there. Um, step two, count the squares. Have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The result of the count is the answer. So I write ten right here. Step four, write the answer in inches. Okay, uh, problem two. Step one. Step two, count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Step four, write the answer in inches. Uh, problem three, the same thing. We have to follow the step, step one. Step two, we have to count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Put my answer right here, but step four, we have to write our answer in inches. So it is fifteen inches. This is really simple. If you have questions, you can always ask me. I'm going to give you some problems so you can pra practice in, um, your own. Take your time, and if you have questions, uh, just let me know. Um, after you're done, I'm going to uh, make the problems with you guys just to make sure that you that you're understand like everything. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to give you these problems. You have like around 10 minutes to do them. If you have questions, just uh, ask me. After the 10 minutes, uh, we're going to work together just to make sure that you um, understand everything. Okay, only 10 minutes. Okay, let's start. Problem one, step one. Make squares inside the shapes until shapes are filled. We have to count, step two, we have to count our um, squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The answer. But the step four is saying that we have to write our answer in inches. So, then. Okay, problem two. Step two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. But we have to put our answer in inches, right? Problem three. Oops, sorry. Okay, like
Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. 40, 41, and 42. So we have 42 squares, but we have to put our answer in inches. So it's 42 inches. And that's it. We're done for today. And remember that we have, we learned today about our area of polygons identified, compared, but no solution. Thank you guys and have a nice day.